<laughs> okay, hold on. Our first major patch of the Call of the Mountain brings the latest balance changes as well as gauntlet updates, a new lap and the long-awaited debut of Cross Shards Friend Challenge. POGGERS! This is POGGERS. So, just by seeing this without reading further, I'm gonna assume they killed Hush. I'm gonna assume they killed Hush, that's why they nerfed Ezreal, but le let me go into it. Preview of the things to expect in 1-1. Adjustment to the difficulty of the ISO level up requirement. Oh, so he'll be easier to level up. Adding escalation to hash a repeatable cost. Grandfather Ramu giving more hacks. Ezreal's an exciting build around. Ezreal is an exciting build around and unique combo control finisher. All of things we want to preserve, but his design also prevents some. Is this fun to play against challenges that we've discussed previously. Increasing the difficulty of Ezreal's quest will ask for additional investment to reach his extremely potent level 2 form. And to create more tension in the choice between level up his quest and saving damage for the opponent's Noxus. Yeah, cool. Kill more cards, uh, guys. Kill more cards. Mm, okay, so Ezreal is now competing with Hecarim. For the shitty champion slot and the Katarina. <sighs> four mana free for Lysin. What? Oh. oh, they changed special card. Oh, fuck. That's a nerf. I mean, this is huge buff, guys. It's a huge buff, don't get me wrong. But this... I mean, okay, I mean, okay, okay, I don't hate this change. I like this change. Listen actually will be good to the, no. Listen actually good deck coming. Just, uh, yeah, we have to wait uh, uh, one more month for the hash changes. Uh, Listen, Dragon's Rage was often a poor fit for Lee. No shit! Resulting um, his new spell should be his early game. Yeah, I agree. Lee's actually a very good champion now. Oh, thank God! Fuck you, Warchef. Go to hell. Hate this card. I mean, it was too good. Fuck off. One, finally. Hands up, Heimer! Heimer is back! Let's go, baby! Heimer is back! <laughs> Man, just nerf Hush? Okay, guys. After oh, I'm calling it. After Hush being nerfed? Oh, never mind. They would need to kill Hush. Hush would need to... Fuck. So, after reading this, I'm gonna assume they're gonna do what I said. Just make... Like, make next Hush cost 4, 5, 6 or 5, 7, 9. Yeah, but that's a huge change. Heimer playable again. As Ezreal got killed, Lee got back to the game. Alright, so Overgrow Snapvine. <laughs> what is the new card? Pog you! <laughs> okay. What is this buff? How 
world is it supposed to have over a girl's stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, let's read the... Okay, maybe I'm missing something. Let's read the explanation. Overgrowth Snubvine has been a frequent request for updates among the epic card roster. Snubvine can sometimes lock you out of playing meaningful units, and while we want to be careful given the potential of its effect and symbol boost to its power, should provide a significant usability and payoff upgrade. Oh, so that's why I made it for him from being useless to being still useless. All right. I see. Like that. <laughs> they could even give it 10 damage. It won't change shit. He needs more HP. Oh, more smart, smart cards. Nice. These are the cheap progressive plunder based units haven't been seeing much usage outside of Jack the Butcher. This adjustment could help Crosshair be more viable option in Beachwater area. Guys, they buffed. Uh, they buffed the. What is the. Petty Officer. Petty Officer has more better uh, good outcomes now. Let's go. Jack Taskmaster cost 3 to 2 power 4 3 to 3 left okay 3 to 2 mana grant one cost allies everywhere plus 1 plus 0 page water I mean this is a huge buff but will it be good I guess we'll see. I mean, you could just run nine. Okay, actually, the reason why it's good, the deck has struggled with good two drops. This helps with two drops. And now that you run Petty Officer, Petty Officer, Jugged, Butcher, Maybe, maybe we, you put this card into scouts now, guys. I think this cards. We, I think this is the Damasha card. You just play 9 1 drops and Petty Officer, so you have 12 1 drops. And Bannerman. And just, yeah, hope you hit it. And you just smork with Rally. Hard. Fuck scouts. You just smork hard with uh, the 1 drops now. And Bannerman. Wait, it's Plunder? Oh. Is fucking plunder? Uh, I just noticed. Uh, never mind. Okay, never mind. Create a warning shot in hand. Nab one. Yeah. Nab one and create a warning shot. I like this change. I like this change a lot. You can't just auto include it even if your the half of the deck is a fucking PNZ or something else. I love this change. I mean, yeah, you're gonna just cut Grifter for the zaps. Zap now. Technos was simply too low on Rao stats to be powerful curve topper for Nightfall decks. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. It's a cool change. I like it. It's more power. Nice. I mean, is that it? Really? Is this it? Okay, guys, I guess we're gonna be playing for two weeks. Lee Sin and Heimer. <coughs>